Why, hello, hello. Hi, YouTube friends. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to Dee's Creative Corner. My name is Danielle Coleman. I am a Creative Memories Independent Advisor. And today we are going to talk a little bit about our fabulous personal trimmer. Okay, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Things are going super down in Southeast Kansas. It's a little bit cooler today, which I really enjoy. Um, being from Wisconsin, I, I love a little bit of chill in the air once in a great while. And um, how was the weather up where you guys are or down where you are? I hope everybody has been printing their pictures and doing some fabulous scrapbooking. I have um, been doing a few projects myself. So again, we're just gonna focus on some tools and get those beginners started. And um, let's, uh, I'm gonna flip over my camera and we'll talk a little bit about this personal trimmer, how to cut our photos and trim our photos. All right, let's do this. Let's flip over. All right, here we have the wonderful personal trimmer. This is my third personal trimmer since I've started scrapbooking. And the design haven't changed too much. This right here, this right now is the newest what we have. It is a fabulous tool. I, I just, it's the original and one of the best out there. Um, so it start just a little bit. It has a razor sharp guillotine style blade. It's a straight trimmer. So when you go to trim, it's going to cut perfectly straight. I will I'm going to show a few different examples, but it does it has a the arm lever up and down. Um, this isn't sharp. It's the connecting this blade to this blade is where you're getting the really smooth cut. Um, this right up here, this is a self-healing type of cutting mat, which I'll talk a little bit about um, this right here. Um, so say you have a, we're going to talk about this cutting system in another video, but say you want to cut on this and, and you don't have your 13 inch mat, you can trim right on here and it's not going to do anything. So this is a, a small self-healing mat. It has a nice metric and English um, numbers and it goes up to, a, you know, this is about five and a half inches. No, this is five. Um, some people have done um, measurements like right there I have it as five and a half I've I have a little black line um, so I know that I've seen people flip the tray out and flip it over and do additional inches on here I just I don't generally go much bigger than the 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 five and a half when I am trimming so um, and speaking of this handy little storage compartment, which you can store all of your, your scissors, your blades, some tool, the cutting, um, system, it will, and like I said, this comes out, um, I don't store anything in there because I have everything right at hands with right across on my little cart. And it has also a very nice little rubber feet to keep it stable and stationary so it's not um, jiggling all over like my camera just did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So um, let's just uh, show a few ideas on how to trim up your photos, okay? I, I, your standard photo is, I'm getting a, a photo mat, so like, four by six. This is your standard printed four by six. Um, a lot of times I print um, all my pictures at home and they're, they're four by six and sometimes I will get them four by four, two by three. So there, there's different options 
but if you're printing them from uh, Supermart or Creative Memories, you're gonna get them in four by six format. And I like to do photo mats, and all my photo mats are generally standard four by six, four by four, because that, then you're not wasting any type of paper. And this way, when I do a four by six, you just have to trim a hair off. Uh, for instance, this, I wanna go on a mat. I'm gonna look at the top, the bottom, the sides to see where I want to trim. Uh, there's a lot of the blue, I'm, I, you know, and a little bit, you know, I, I'd rather see more of the sky than that. So I'm gonna trim just a, you know, go down to three and three quarters. And then I'm gonna look at the sides and, you know, cause this is still six inches and I'm gonna just do a quarter of an inch off. I, um, I'm, I would choose to do about a quarter of an inch off of that one. And then this way you're going to have a perfect fit on your mat then. Um, so there's your standard four by six with the mat. And so say I want a, uh, a four by four. I have my four by six here. And, you know, I, I look at my photo and I, I see that, you know, I'm gonna, this is already four inches, so I don't really have to take anything off top, but I'm, I'm gonna wanna trim the sides. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna show just a hair. You can see right here, the numbers, the one, two, three, and four inches right there. So they're not, they're easy to see for me because I'm not not on the camera, but again, they're, they are listed right up there. And then you see that the inches are measured down there. So I'll make this a four by four. And, you know, I just kind of like, I'm eyeing it up and I always generally put my finger to where like the four inch mark is so I can kind of gauge where I want to trim. So, you know, there's times if you look at it, it's like, oh, okay, here's four inches, but I'm gonna cut half the body off. I've done that years ago. I've cut off tops of heads and not paying attention. So just try to, you know, visually look at, you know, here's about four inches. And so I'm going to just slice like that and then I'm gonna turn it around and then go down to here's my four inch mark and slice it and here we go we got a nice four by four and now say we want a like a, a three by three a little bit smaller so now here i'm gonna look and i you know i can take quite a bit off of the side so i'll just kind of start um inching by looking and seeing how far so there right there is at about three inches i'll take that off and you know these are again standard four inches and i'm like well i can take about a half inch off the top because obviously we don't want to take too much off of our heads and i flip it around and i can take just a, a you know a, a hair off to um to three and a half Oh, I said three by three, didn't I? So let's do, we'll go down here. So there, now we got a nice three by three and that would, that still it's showing a lot of the picture. It has the green in the back. It just took away a lot of the excess of the landscape that wasn't really necessary. And so, so, so far we've, like I said, we've done four by four, three by three. I'm just kind of doing standard. And then, you know, this is a, a trim down um, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So um, here we have another one. Let's, we could do a three by four. That's a, a good standard one. So again, it's already four inches. I wanna, I wanna trim down to about three inches. Uh, I want to keep a little bit of the water, so I'm going to just kind of guide, and here's here's the three inch mark. I'm kind of trying, you know, and I try to even the, the 
focal point so it's not completely off kilter. So here I'm just kind of looking, that's about three inches. Oops, and then I'll flip that around and go to three inches on the other side. So there, that, you know, that's gets a good portion of the water and still has the stone in the back that I want to see and has the pictures. So if we're looking here, there's three inches by four inches. I do hope that's making a little bit sense. So, um, and then... You, here I have one that it's, this how it printed. I just wanted to print the how it came off my phone. And I'm just, I wanna take just a hair off. I'm just going to slide it in, slice her down. And just to get that white off, and I'm sliding my picture up all the way snug to the top and slice it down and there we go. So. All right, so I hope that was a little bit. I'm gonna flip you guys back over. And so I hope that was just a little bit of a learning lesson on our personal trimmer. I really, I strongly suggest this is a very, very important tool for your craft needs and I love it. It was probably one of my first purchases along with a few others that I've talked about so far. We talked about the um, adhesives, of course, and then we talked about the 12 inch personal trimmer, the rotary trimmer. We've talked about that. So um, we're just kind of going down the line of my favorites and what I think would be a perfect fit for you beginners. So um, again, if there's ever anything, you can always shop this little link down here and I hope you guys are printing your pictures and um, let's still be friends through the lens. All right, friends, take care. Bye-bye.